So WordPress.com has released their own AI website builder. And I know I'm a little late to the party here, but I wanted to test it out and see what it's like to use. This AI website builder is probably in response to some of the other competition from the likes of Wix, Framer, and a few others. So today I'm just gonna be testing it out for the first time and see what it's like. I've given myself a little challenge to actually build a decent looking shoe store in under five minutes. So I've got a timer here. I'm gonna hit start, give it a prompt and get going. So ready and five minutes, there we go. So build a website in seconds with AI. Let's see what it does. Uh, by the way, maybe you want to call this cheating, but I pre-wrote this prompt just to save a little bit of time while recording the video. Let's see what it does. Of course, I have to create an account. Yes. So after creating your account, then it will be working through the different parts of the prompt. You can really see this is my first time doing this. Awkward silence. Okay, in one or two sentences, what makes your shoe brand stand out or what's the brand's style or mission? I was not expecting this, but let's see if I can write something compelling. So I just gave it some more details. What city is Stride based in? Uh, let's say we're in Vancouver, Canada. So it looks like it gave me a name for the business. Confirm your site details. Stride? Yeah, I like it. That's a technology based. Yes, Vancouver. Okay, let's create that site. Now the computer is fan is turned on and starting to work pretty hard. Little update on the timer. We still have one minute and 20 seconds. I took a little bit of time with those responses, so that's my fault. Ooh, wow. Very nice. So here it's building the site for us in real time. Okay, welcome. Let's pick your layout color palette. Let's continue. What layout do we want? We have some more options. Okay, let's go with the first one. Like this layout and press continue. Colors, go for something a little bit lighter. Somewhere in the middle. I like the sporty blue, but it feels like a lot. Black is very slick. Black with green. I like that. Font pair. We can preview the fonts in real time. This is pretty nice. Yeah, I like this. This feels techy, modern. Ooh, very nice. Now we're in the editor. And there's our timer. So one thing I'm a little curious about is how to change the images, for example, using the AI. So if I click on this image, there's a regenerate button. So let's go for a, make an image about sporty shoes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what that does. So this is just taking a, a quick little minute here. Okay. Nice. For some reason, it's not quite full size, but I can bring it up a little bit if I want to. And then if you want to actually access the kind of back end of your site and see all the different pages that you have, you can see them here and we can add. So let's say we want to add, add a shop catalog page. Let's see if it's able to manage that for now. Okay, let's see the shop catalog page that they've added. So this is what it created for my shop catalog page. Obviously, there aren't any products. So I think that's why it had a hard time understanding what to do probably hasn't been integrated with WooCommerce just yet. Also, by the way, if you want to launch this site, you can click on the launch button here, ready to launch, choose your domain to get started and then pick a plan to launch your site. So let's go continue. So they have domain options here. If I just select one, for example, you can see what the current prices are to get this website started on wordpress.com. Or you can just go back and keep editing before you finally launch it. So I wanna keep this video really brief and sort of just to the point. In five minutes, literally, I did not reset the timer. I have the framework for an entire website with a layout, color palette, typography, and some pre-written text, which is not just lorem ipsum, but actually something usable that I could then transform into a fully functioning site. And I wanna bore you with all of those details, but give it a try for yourself if you haven't already. I think this is a pretty interesting and fairly competitive AI tool and uh, working pretty well so far. So well done, WordPress. You can also watch this video next to learn more about how to build an e-commerce site using WordPress, or you can click on this link to find out about Barn2 and the plugins that we make for WordPress and WooCommerce. And of course, thanks for watching.